Today, we're gonna to show you how to install one of our titanium signature series, TSC12100G or TSC12165G kits on this 2016 Duramax. Now this kit is going to include everything you need from wiring, fuel line, bracketry, and fittings to install this system on your truck. Now always make sure before you begin the installation, you log on to fastride.com and register your warranty. Now what do you say we get this installation started? Install the supplied 10 amp fuse into the fuse holder on the wire harness. Apply the supplied dielectric grease to the relay pigtail and install the electrical relay. Install the relay cover over the electrical relay and be sure the relay bracket is installed through the bracket hole. Secure the relay near the firewall using a supplied cable tie. Wrap the wire harness beneath the truck and away from any moving objects or the exhaust system. Using the supplied ring terminals, connect the red wire to the positive battery terminal and the green wire to the negative battery terminal. Neatly secure any excess wiring with the supplied cable ties. Using a test light, locate a key on hot fuse. Remove the selected fuse from the fuse panel. Install the original fuse into the bottom slot of the added circuit and install the supplied 5 amp fuse into the top slot. Install the added circuit into the fuse panel. Install the single red wire from the fast harness into the butt connector of the ATTIS circuit and crimp the connection with a pair of wire crimpers. If equipped, remove the fuel tank skid plate. Disconnect the fuel fill hose and fuel vent hose from the top of the fuel tank. Disconnect the fuel feed and return lines from the front of the fuel tank. With the fuel tank supported, remove both fuel tank support straps. Slightly lower the fuel tank and disconnect the electrical connector from the top of the fuel tank module. Now the fuel tank can be removed from the truck. Clean any dirt or debris from the top of the fuel tank, disconnect the fuel lines from the fuel tank module and remove the fuel tank module from the fuel tank. Be sure to drain all of the fuel out of the tank module. Now that we've got the fuel tank removed from the truck and the fuel tank module on the workbench, this is going to be one of the most important parts of the installation. You're going to want to follow along with the installation instructions extremely closely. Installing the bulkhead fitting and modifying the fuel tank module properly is going to ensure you're not going to have a quarter tank issue an eighth tank issue, and it's going to ensure the FAST system is returning to the fuel tank module correctly. Now I'm going to walk you through the steps on modifying the module. Using a 7 8 hole saw or 7 8 step drill bit, carefully drill the shown location on the fuel tank module.
Using a die grinder or pencil grinder, carefully remove any excess material from the top of the fuel tank module. You will need to create a nice, smooth sealing surface for the bulkhead fitting O-ring. Install 10306 into BHF 1005 and tighten accordingly. Install OR212 onto BHF 1005. Install BHF 1005 into the newly drilled port on the fuel tank module and apply red Loctite to the threads. Install BHN 1005 onto BHF 1005 and tighten using a pair of pliers. Be sure OR212 reaches proper compression and do not over tighten. Using a 7 8 hole saw or 7 8 step drill bit, drill the shown location on the fuel tank module. Measure from the bottom of the fuel tank to the top of the fuel tank module sealing o-ring and record your measurement. Compress the fuel tank module to the recorded measurement then measure and cut ST1005P to the appropriate length. The ST1005P must be a quarter inch to a half inch from the bottom of the fuel tank module when the fuel tank module is compressed to the recorded height. With HC1001, install ST1005P onto BHF1005 and tighten accordingly. Again, verify your ST1005P has a quarter inch to a half inch from the bottom of the fuel tank module when compressed to the recorded height. Locate the factory fuel suction port on the fuel tank module. It will be the larger of the two lines. Using a utility knife, carefully slice the convoluted tubing and remove it from the fuel tank module. Using grease, install FL1006 into the place of the convoluted tubing. Thoroughly clean all plastic and debris from the fuel tank module. You can separate the top and bottom sections when necessary. Reinstall the fuel tank module into the fuel tank while carefully guiding the fuel level float. Reinstall the fuel tank module locking ring. Reconnect the factory return tube and factory fuel feed tube. Using grease, install PL1005 into FL1002. Install PL1005 onto 10-306 and tighten accordingly. Place the fuel tank back under the truck and route FL1002 over the frame to the fast mounting location. Raise the fuel tank back into the truck, install the front and rear support straps, the fuel fill tube, the fuel vent tube and the electrical connector on top of the fuel tank module. Install 10-300 into the e-port of the FAS and tighten accordingly. Install 10-301 into the T-port of the FAS and tighten accordingly.
using the three supplied fast spacers and quarter inch bolts, install PBR 2002 onto the fast. Evenly tighten the three quarter inch mounting bolts. Remove the bed mounting bolt as shown. Install PFB 2002 into that location using DS 1001, RS 2001, the supplied 12 millimeter bolt and flat washer. Tighten the mounting bolt accordingly. Attach PBR 2002 to PFB 2002 with the four supplied 3 8 bolts washers and nuts. Be sure to place RS2002 between the two fast brackets. Raise the fast system to your desired mounting height and evenly tighten the four mounting bolts. Trim FL1002 to length, install PL1005 and install PL1005 onto 10-301. Tighten accordingly. Using grease, install a PL1005 into the remaining section of FL1002. Install PL1005 onto 10-300, which is in the E port of the FAS. Tighten PL1005. Route FL1002 to the front of the fuel tank. Reconnect the factory fuel return line, then install QD1002 under the metal fuel feed line. Measure and cut FL1002 to length, and using grease, install FL1002 onto QD1002 with HC1001. Tighten accordingly. Install a PL1005 into the remaining section of FL1002. Install PL1005 onto the R port of the FAS and tighten. Route FL1002 to the front of the fuel tank, measure to the plastic factory fuel suction line and cut to length. Using grease, install PLB1212 into FL1002. Install PLB 1212 into the factory plastic fuel suction line. Install the fuel filter nipple o ring. Install PF 3001 onto the suction side of the FAS and XWS 3002 onto the pressure side of the FAS. Refer to the fuel filter location diagram that is on each filter. Continue routing the wire harness to the fast mounting location along the factory chassis wire harness. Connect the wire harness to the electrical connector on the fast motor. Using the supplied cable ties, neatly secure the fast wire harness and all fuel lines away from any moving objects or the exhaust system. Reinstall the fuel tank skid plate with the factory mounting bolts. Okay, we've just finished up the fast installation, got the system primed, and we started the engine and checked all the fuel lines in the fast system for leaks. Now, after a fresh fast installation, you will always wanna make sure you take it up to the fuel station and fill the fuel tank up to full. This can prevent any extra aeration of the diesel fuel or excessive sound from the fast system. And as always, if you guys have any questions regarding fast selection or the installation process, Please don't hesitate to give our technical service department a call. They'll be happy to help.